there is uh, the serious fruit, meaning the stone fruit and the palm fruit that are produced in the Western Cape. There are also other provinces that do have um, horticultural products, but I'm just referring actually to the Western Cape at the moment. Uh, we're going through a drought period of about three to four years, which is quite severe. Uh, as you all well know, is that uh, fruit uh, is been irrigated. All our lands, our orchards are being irrigated, so we need water. So we normally store our water in the winter time for production in the summer time and that is what is lacking now for three to four years. Some of the areas are more severe uh, stricken by the drought like the Klein Karoo, uh, Karoo areas but all of them has got some extent of drought uh, that is uh, popping up and making the fruit production very difficult at the moment. We did a survey in the Klein Karoo. We lost already uh, about nearly 300 hectares that was is totally dead and then we lost a lot of trees also in other orchards and also lost of production uh, due to the fact that that uh, a tree is also a living organism it uses water it uses the fertilizer from the soil and some people doesn't always realize that but uh, it is like a living a creature and we uh, and they also die when they're not getting the uh, water and they're going through drought periods uh, it has also got a severe effect on the social uh, humanitarian effect on the areas uh, the smaller towns have been situated in that areas are suffering due to the fact that uh, the drought is having an in, uh, influence on the farming communities and most of these farmers are either fruit farmers or wine farmers and or some other industry farmers that are around in these areas. We must realize that climate change is a reality. The ups is going to be more severe and the downs is going to be more deeper. That has also got an effect not on the, on the rain but also on the climate as far as the cold and the temperatures are concerned. So we'll have to manage accordingly uh, and uh, what I can mention as uh, examples is that in the in the food industry we we are managing uh, our water in a better way i think that is what a drought the positive about a drought is that we have learned to use our water more uh, effectively on the longer run it's a long-term uh, product we are planting our trees for 20 to 50 years in the case of pears for instance those trees can grow 40 to 40 to 50 years easily and now the drought will as will put us back uh, in, in a situation that we'll have to replant which is very costly firstly and secondly also that we, it will take some time before we're going to get into production which puts not only the farmer on a pressure but also the farm laborers and the whole community that are linked to the farming community.